Okay, so now I can't ask any more uh, questions about packing. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this month. And I must tell you, um, our final webinar of the year. Uh, as with many things, we saved um, what I would like to say the best for last. Um, and who are we that are saving the best for last? Just Bill Highway Mariner. And I'm super excited to have Impexium join us this year uh, for this particular webinar because Impexium, like Bill Highway, is just another tech solution, right? And so we're talking tech and we want to make sure that you know about these wonderful companies, the partnership of Bill Highway and Pexium. Mariner, we do less about tech and, and more about relationships. And while all three of us are relationship folks, we love to help you with your relationships with volunteers and chapters. So one of the reasons why we specifically brought this individual with us at this point in time is because she's also about tech and relationships. And who is this masterful she? None other than your nerdy best friend and mine, the lovely and fabulous Beth Z. Now, you probably know all about her. I probably don't have to tell you a whole lot. I will tell you, though, that we actually have 20 of her books. That's right, 20 of her books to give away. So stay tuned. Let's listen up to what Beth has to say, because from there, you all could be a winner in more than one way. Beth, over to you. All right. So first, I have a big entrance. <laughs> Oh, I am so flattered. Thank you so much. I am going to test my audio and test my video. Am I good? Y'all tell me if I'm good. Oh, good. Because, you know, there's uh, there's this. All right. So make sure you keep the chat, uh, chat going because uh, I'm needy and I miss people. So let me show you. We are going to be doing everything you need to know about ChatGPT, the hottest and scariest technology of 2023. Now, yes, it's wonderful that uh, we have an introduction, but uh, let me go through first and do what I call tech error bingo. And nobody wins anything, but know that these are some of the things that may happen. All right, number one, we can't see your screen. So y'all should tell me, I'm gonna do this so it helps me see the screen real quick. Um, sometimes I'll be see, I'll say, oh, look at that thing. And you're like, Beth, there's no thing. So uh, if you can't see my screen, somebody pop up and we will try to fix the screen thing. But uh, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. So keep, keep that in mind. This didn't work. Mm, remember how I said sometimes things work and sometimes they don't know that I'm going to be doing tons of things with bells and whistles and some of it is going to fail. Just live with that. It's OK. Walk in that space. You're on mute. An oldie but a goodie. Always a favorite. Let me know if the audio goes weird. You're blurry. Well, I look good in blurry. I have to say so. But I do know that some of the screens may not show up as well. I want you to make this window as big as you possibly can because this is where I will be. So make it big and you should be able to see better. But if it's blurry, just don't complain. IT won't let us use that. So some of our component and wonderful association people there have like really mean IT people heartbreaking i know uh does anybody in here have a life outside the office okay maybe uh oh yeah some a couple of people oh i guess you thought that was rhetorical that's fine but if you have a life outside the office you may be able to use this all over the place or you can talk to your it department about bringing things in because this is a conversation you need to have and then uh, some of you are going to say, uh, you didn't tell us about that. And this was a great thing. And you should have said that. Yep. We only have an hour. And uh, who knows all the things I will miss. But there are a lot of things. Your cats are distracting. Indeed, y'all, I have to tell you, I have cats. And one of them is a quarantine kitty. We got her when she was one day old. And we hand fed her. And she is addicted to me. 
And so she sometimes, not kidding, comes and jumps on my head during presentations. If I lock her out, she makes a lot of noise. So just know that I know that this is weird, but it's the way it goes. Thank you so much for my introduction. And you did a great job, Peggy. But um, I kind of think you did a better job in our little video. I'll just do these real quick. I'll just do these real quick. All right, here is a little intro that you did. Hey, when you all said, Bill Highway, Mariner, how can we help chapters figure this thing out, chat GPT, and, and, and how can we help them use AI? So I said, well, let's go to the source. And of course, the source is your nerdy best friend and mine, the one and only Beth Z. We nabbed her, we brought her here, Let's bring her on now. Oh, well, uh, I know we, we just had that intro. She did a great job. She said the same thing. So um, uh, I do want though to reach everybody on here. So let's do it again in uh, Italian. You speak Italian, don't you, Peggy? Unmute yourself. Tell everybody you speak Italian. I speak so speak much Italian. Italian. <laughs> uh, you may not speak Italian, but now you do. Hey. Quando avete detto Bilaiway Mariner, come possiamo aiutare i capitoli a capire questa cosa, chiacchierare GPT e come possiamo aiutarli a utilizzare l'intelligenza artificiale? Quindi ho detto beh andiamo alla fonte e naturalmente la fonte è la mia migliore amica nerd, nonché la mia, l'unica e inimitabile Beth, l'abbiamo presa e portata qui, portiamola avanti adesso. Oh, that was beautiful, beautiful Italian. Thank you so much. And, um, uh, you know, again, I want to be age inclusive. I want to be language inclusive. I want to be inclusive. So I know we've got some new association folks out there. Gen Z is joining the workplace. Let's translate it one more time to make sure we have a Gen Z friendly speech. Again, we have Peggy. Yo. When y'all went, Bill Highway Mariner, how can we assist the homies figure this vibe out? Chit chat, GPT, and how can we level them up with AI? So I went, let's pull up to the source. And obviously the source is your nerdy bestie and mine, the one and only Beth Z. We snagged her, we yeeted her here. Let's vibe check her now. What just happened? we are seeing the end of really badly dubbed movies. We are seeing the end of the problems we have with a rated G and a rated PG and all that kind of stuff. Um, so somebody just wrote, I'm curious about the quality of the translation like Google Translate, they're not always accurate. Guess what? This was invented uh, two weeks ago. So it's only gonna get better from here. This is a free app that is on my phone that lets me translate it into, I think they have 26, la 26 languages plus uh, Gen Z, baby, pirate, and Texas. I don't get the Texas thing, but all you have to do is put in the video 15 seconds or longer and there it goes. These are the kind of things that today's technology is allowing us to do. So I uh, got a quick question for you. Do you ever feel like you're the only one who has not gotten this stuff? How old do you think ChatGPT is? I want you to put in the chat, how old do you think ChatGPT is? I am watching the chat, one year, two months. Let's see what we got. Year, five years, 18, two years, three years, five years, 2.5 years, two years. That's very specific. Two years, five years. All right. Uh, all kinds of ages right there, 15 years. Well, let me tell you that as of today, exactly today, ChatGPT is 343 days, 11 hours, uh, 11 minutes, and 25 seconds old. Y'all, it has been, we are coming up on its first birthday. And actually, I'm going to have a birthday party for ChatGPT. Uh, I guess I shouldn't promo it here on their webinar, but I'm going to do a webinar about the year anniversary of ChatGPT and 
the types of education programs you can do to build on maybe what you've already done. Oh, someone says I can promote. Um, so I'm going to do that. I think it's December 6th. And we're going to just open it up for association folks to, to help you figure out if you've had a chat GPT 101 class, what else can you do? How can you do an AI summit? Like all the way up to an AI summit and all of the things in between. So if you're around, we can do that too. But it is only a year old. So the next question I have, well, let me do these statistics real quick. LinkedIn did a survey of 26,000 LinkedIn professionals on the site. This was August. We have invented a new word, AI anxiety. More than one third of the people are worried about falling behind on AI at work. 56% are unsure how to use it in their job. Then we have the knowledge gap. 49% feel like they should know more about AI, 39% feel overwhelmed by potential AI job impact. And y'all, I can tell you 100%, these numbers are low. In every session that I have taught, and I've taught, uh, I don't even know how many since it came out. In every session I have taught, the number of people who haven't used it, who haven't played around with it is much higher than the statistics show. and almost everybody feels lost and unsure. But my favorite statistic is this next one. It is nearly 40% have pretended to know more about AI to appear knowledgeable in front of colleagues. Mm -hmm. Y'all are lying about it. You're like, <clears throat> chat GPS. Yeah. Uh, I made coffee with it this morning. Like y'all don't know what you're talking about because everybody is lost. You're lost. Your members are lost. Your components are lost. Your chapters are lost. Your leaders are lost. Your volunteers are lost and everybody needs help. So this session is going to be an intro into there, but we're not going to get to everything because we don't have time for everything. It's just not possible. All right, let me go to the next session. Now, I started off this session with a lie. The lie was, this is everything you need to know about ChatGPT. Uh-uh, it ain't. But what are you hoping to get out of this session? Now, I'm going to use what you put in the chat right now to kind of guide me about where we are, that and the mentee you just did. So what are you hoping to get out of this session? You said, oh, Bill Highway and Mariner and Pexium are having this thing. I'm going to attend because I'm hoping. What? Oh, dear. Oh, there we go. What areas are we seeing nonprofits use this technology? OK, I want you all to have that conversation in the chat. New ideas for useful applications. What? Oh, I was like, what am I hoping to get out of this session? No, that's Sarah asking the question. How can I use it to get better communications? Excellent. Limiting legal risk. We are not going to cover that because it brings me down. That's too much of a bummer. How can it help create more value for our members? How can nonprofits best use it? Okay, we have uh, several things in here that I can definitely cover. How others are using it. I want y'all to share some of your ideas about these while we are chatting because some of these things you have been able to answer. Oh, yeah, uh, Jill, I'm definitely going to cover your question about the differences between free and pro and what you tools to get started. Absolutely. All right. So uh, we asked, how have you used chat GPT when I started? And I hope you all were able to get on, on the Mentimeter. So I'm going to pull that up really quickly. If you haven't, I think I can paste this again. Nope, that's not it. Uh, let me click here to do the voting link. See if everybody can pop in there and add, how have you used AI? We've got uh, quite a few people in here and I know we can get a few more answers in here. So 37 responses so far. Uh, never used it, yes, that's a great answer. Haven't used it, played around but not officially, very briefly to compose email. Um, new name, uh, use it daily. Uh, let's see, just tested it out, never used it. A lot of people haven't used it yet. Let's see, I haven't used it, really haven't used it. Political, da da da, political and social information, and much, mostly for information. Email, copy, draft, writing job descriptions. 
okay, we got a whole bunch of variety here. And what would you say about 20%, 30% of you haven't used it, uh, maybe 40%? Hmm, I'm not really sure. Let me do something with AI that helps me. And here's what I want you to watch. It's tiny, but I, I want you to look down at the bottom of the screen. It's tiny, but there is a star there. It says press space to group responses. And that star, that little sprinkle dinkle, I don't know if that's what they call it, but that star is magical. Let me see if I can make it a little bit more big. Down at the bottom, it says uh, press space to group responses. And you know why it says that? Because out of the blue, Mentimeter, which is this tool I'm using, it's like um, poll everywhere. Mentimeter added this capability. So I am going to press space and it is now applying artificial intelligence to this, these results to tell us what's going on. Now, I have found that this is not very accurate right now. Like we found, it says eight groups uh, were found, but research, this will probably have a lot of haven't used it, never used it. So this is what I found last time as well, is that it's not really, it's not really grouping them right all the time. Sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So hmm, there we go. But writing, research, email, social media, brainstorming, marketing, event verbiage. That little sparkle is what you're looking for because that is an indication that is coming up a lot for where AI has been put in because the chat GPT tool that we have is actually the raw material, right? It is the beginning material. It is the Commodore 64 of, of technology. Y'all remember the Commodore 64? The Commodore 64 was a computer that was one of the first home computers that everybody kind of started working with. And what happened with that is that you had to know what you didn't know to make it work. And it was the beginning. That's what chat GPT is. You have to know what you didn't know. Anybody remember the uh, Commodore 64? You can put it in the chat. Jenny, boom. I, <laughs> I'm with you. I dated myself there too. But it was definitely something that started us off and chat GPT is kind of the same thing. All right. Some of y'all in the middle of this are going to start picking up your phones and going, uh, I'm going to get chat GPT app. I'm going to search the web and get chat GPT. Y'all, I want you to know there are a bunch of lying liars out there and a whole bunch of apps are trying to replicate chat GPT for SEO and on the app stores. There is one site that is chat GPT. There is one Apple app and there is one Google Play app. That is it. So make sure it says the official app and it's by a company called OpenAI. And I will give you the link for the chat GPT. Let's see, let me copy uh, the link. I think this will work. Yeah, this is the link for chat GPT and this is the only link for chat GPT. So, make sure you use that as a jumping point and don't fall into a whole bunch of the other stuff. So I'm going to come over here and open up chat GPT and we're going to do an experiment. Now, some of you may have seen this experiment before uh, that I've done, but it's a really fun one. And what I'm going to do is write a performance review for somebody on this call. Can I have a volunteer can i have a volunteer who would like to do a quick oh there we go we have a me and you are going to win the very first let's see can we put them up on the screen turn on your camera and your video i'm a bit can you see me uh i oh wait let me uh let me add your spotlight let's see let me remove my spotlight can y'all help me out and find 
Oh, okay. There we go. Add a spotlight. All right. So uh, lovely shade of white you have there. I'm not sure we see your camera, but that is totally okay. So you're psychologically waving and we now, Abina, is that your name? That is my name. Oh, I'm perfect. trying to close my blinds here to see if it'll make it better. Oh, there you are. Still, uh, it's still, can you see uh, me? still not wonderful. Put your nose on the camera and I think you'll come into focus real quick. There you are. Nice to see you. Okay. Yes, now yes. that we've seen you, I'm yes. going to, oh, look at that. I love it when it adjusts. Gorgeous today. So uh, now that we've all seen you, I'm going to remove the spotlight, but you're going to keep talking to me. Okay? okay. Just so that this gets big. All right. We're going to do this very quickly. So don't spend a lot of time thinking, just say stuff. All okay. right. Yep. You win the first book of the day. Okay. And Jenny should win a book because Jenny was the first one to admit that she knew what a Commodore 64 computer was. I think her name was Jenny. All right, so I'm gonna do write a performance review for A-B-E-N-A, O-N-S-O, dash, and the rest of it's cut off on mine, B-R- U-C-E. U-C-E. All right, and your title? Executive Director. You make it sound so much fancier with that accent, right? <laughs> and what group? The Transportation Alliance. Uh, the Transportation Alliance. How long have you been that? Been there? A year and a month. Uh, 13 months. All right. And what are your responsibilities? How many people do you supervise? How many uh, members do you have? That kind of thing. So I have about um, 260 members and really I we've got a group. So we, we are an association management uh, company and the Transportation Alliance. So I have the honor of being the executive director for the Transportation Alliance. All right. So uh, I'm not going to tell it all that because it may get confused. Group has 260 uh, members, so you're responsible for budgeting. Yes. Events. Events, yep. Yeah. Overseeing conferences, yep. Um, and uh, member relationships. Yep, yeah. member recruitment and retention. Committee management. Which one? Committees. So I know I say it's slightly different. C O M M I T T E E S. Oh, committee. Sorry about that. No committee problem. management, of course. Uh, and uh, all right. So, what is one big accomplishment you've had? Um, so I just oversaw a conference that had about 350 people, and we made you know, so we went over our budgeted income. Um, uh, Lou passed her uh, income um, uh, goals. All right. Uh, let's see. What? I don't know how to ask this politely, but since your accent is going to come through so well, you'll probably be able to say it like uh, politely. Yeah. What do you suck at? I suck at I mean, are you, are you, uh, do you have trouble delegating? Do you have trouble, uh, are you prioritizing? Like what, what challenges do you have? So my biggest thing is working in Canva, really. Um, Cause we do have to do quite a bit of work in Canva and I have zero clue. Uh, working in? Canva, um, so C-A-N-V-A. Oh, Canva. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to keep correcting you, but apparently my accent is way worse than yours. I would rather call it Canva myself um, and would like to learn more skills. All right. Yeah. With graphics technology. How's that? It's perfect. All right. So let me let me kind of backtrack a little bit and when you have to do a performance review or write about yourself tell me if i'm wrong everybody in the chat tell me if i'm wrong 
it's due in a month and you have to do it and you put it off for three and a half weeks and it's just sitting there on your to-do list just staring at you knowing it's coming and then it's the last half of a week you do almost anything else besides do that and now it's due on friday and in the morning you do almost anything else and then you either copy and paste from last year's because really have you performed any since then hmm. or you spend like four hours trying to do it is is that about right does that sound familiar folks that's what most people end up doing so chat gbt is going to help us cut that whole process down from four weeks of kind of internal blah blah to about four minutes total all right so we did a basic thing here's your performance review i'm pleased to provide it there we go uh key aspects do strong financial acumen did you know you had strong financial acumen apparently you do uh you played a crucial role in planning and, and executing various events notably here's your notably which not only met but exceeded income goals i mean it's right there you're fantastic you've worked diligently oh, i'm so proud of you strengths committee management challenges and growth while she's excelled she has identified an area for her improvement she'd like to get better at canva there you've made significant impact on there in your 13 months and we are all so proud of you everybody clap 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 we are all so proud in the chat give her some love is this about right this is amazing. I Listen, I had to write this review last week. It was due on Friday, like you said, and I had no clue I could do this. It took me forever. This is yep. fantastic. Yep. Four minutes from description to the whole thing. All right. Now uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute you because uh, I'm going to make this more challenging, right? I am going to now come up here and say this is boring make it funny uh well strap in folks because reviewing uh performance is like describing a roller coaster ride through the world of transportation management it's been a wild 13 months and we wouldn't have it any other way she has steered us toward success in a way that would make lewis and Clark proud. She her budgeting skills are so sharp she could probably balance the organization's finances while juggling flaming swords. She's managed to make our budget do the tango, ensuring that every dollar counts. I mean, it just gets better. You're the committee whisperer. Amazing. You're not just a leader, she's a force of nature. Oh, fantastic. Let's though go a little too far a little too far uh rewrite to the tune of twinkle twinkle little star why not let's see all right i'm gonna sing it i'm gonna sing it right here and you're never gonna have me back uh peggy and uh all my folks all right ready Managing budgets, oh, what a feat. Abina's got skills that can't be beat. Balancing funds with finesse and grace, she keeps us on a prosperous chase. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. It is so fun to be able to do things like this in seconds. Now, normally, if we were together, I would make the whole room sing, but you would be very weird singing to this woman at your desk. So I'm just not going to make us do that. Now, I am actually going to generate a link to this and give it to you so you don't ever have to do this again. I'll give it to everybody because everybody wants to hear more about you and they all want to know if uh, you're available for working for them. You'll, you'll get some job offers from this one. All right, so that's the easiest thing that chat GPT can do is write for us. I'm taking a deep breath because what happened yesterday is insane is insane. I am not exaggerating here. I exaggerate a lot. 
like a whole lot. <laughs> See, I'm doing it again. I'm not exaggerating here. This is crazy what happened yesterday. So they had, might have been the day before yesterday, but they had a development con conference, ChatGPT is, did, and announced some new things. Now, somebody asked, what's the difference between the paid version and the free version? Well, that was the free version, and it can do all kinds of things. The paid version gives you access to the beta tools, gives you access to some of the interactive tools, gives you access to all these plugins and extensions, which frankly were never very good for me. I don't even know. They weren't very good and there were tons of them and they were overwhelming and you only had to pick three. It was crazy. So you get access to these different things, but this week they added something crazy. So I'm going to go to GPT-4. I pay $20 a month for this capability. And what they did yesterday was they announced these different GPTs, these different GPTs. And I'm going to get to this as an announcement in just a minute, because that's the biggest news for associations. But look at all the things that automatically it does. So Dolly, if you've heard about uh, some of the image generation tools, Dolly is one of those. And Dolly, you just describe what you want, and then it does it. So I uh, this week, for my newsletter, and I'll give you all the link if you want to join, I had to do a, uh, I did recipes, AI generated recipes, and my husband and I cooked them for bourbon banana bread, and I wanted a little picture. So I said a friendly, funny robot chef making bourbon banana bread, landscape image, illustration, colorful, and it just did it, seconds. All right, the different thing though, let me go back to explore. So we have, I don't know what cosmic, uh, dream is some of these are weird the data analysis tool you drop in a, a excel spreadsheet and you say let's say you got a whole bunch of feedback from the last conference and you say what's the sentiment what did people like about the last conference you just click on you just ask the question and it analyzes it and tells you so data analysis the classic one which is what we just used in 3.5 game time i don't get this but they created it i can quickly explain board games the negotiator i can adv help you advocate for yourself and become a better negotiator this is what abina is going to need uh somebody just asked a good question tara did but i'm getting to that one this is what abina is going to need to negotiate when all these people offer her new jobs because of how well she's doing creative writing coach cosmic dream but look at this a coloring book hero. So obviously this is the one I wanted to play with first. Laundry Buddy, Sue Chef, Sticker Whiz. This one's connected to Sticker Whiz is connected to Sticker Mule, but I did, it didn't work for me yesterday. This is all brand new. It keeps breaking. Uh, it's not perfect and I'm not surprised. All right, so this is the comic book one. And so what I did was I asked it to, coming way up here, I asked it to uh, generate comic book images, coloring book images, sorry. And the first thing it says is, uh, by the way, Dolly can't work right now because everybody's trying to use it. I'm like, fine. By the way, when you pay for it also, not only do you get all these things, but you get more reliable access to the service because otherwise you get involved in all of the traffic and it's harder, but we're more likely to get in. So I said, nerds, that's all I said. And it drew this cute little picture and a whimsical child-friendly coloring book page. Perfect. Can I have more of the same style? And I asked for 10 and it said, no, you can only do one at a time. And then we have a, uh, it, oh, it says, let's start with one of the themes that you mentioned. And how about we start with science? And I'm like, great. So it did science and then it did computer wizard. Fantastic. And then I'm like, hmm, I don't know if you've noticed a common thread here, but they're all Caucasian little cherub people. And I'm like, I, I'm not happy with that. Uh, it's 2023, y'all. Let's do something different. So I said, please add some diversity to the characters so they're not all Caucasian looking. Uh, and I wanted coder, right? So here it created that one. And then I said, Comic-Con attendees. 
and I can create my own coloring book. Now it's kind of limited, but <laughs> that was the one I was most uh, excited about. But look, look at all of them. Now, the big news, because Tara asked the question, other people asking the question, the big, oh, there's an alcohol one. Uh, the big news is this, and it's not here yet. Create a GPT, custom version of the GPT for a specific purpose. Coming soon. Let's talk about that for a second. That means that your association can load up your information into your own GPT tool you can mark it as private. It will use the power of the whole thing and add your stuff and you can offer it to your members. You can offer it to your staff. You can make it so that people can have this all in the same place. Now I was looking, uh, I was at ASAE this year and there's BettyBot, which is a tool that, was built for associations for exactly the same reason. Because when you are putting this, when you are putting information into chat GPT, you can click a button that says, don't share it with the world and don't share it to train it self, right? You can click that button, but then it only saves your, your uh, uh, history for like 30 days. And I love my history because there's a lot of good stuff in there. So instead, you can use the my GPT, you can make your own and make it private. Microsoft is building these, we have different companies building these they're different costs. This one right now seems to be free. I'm like this. <laughs> Like, this is insane. And it happened, y'all, two days ago. And yesterday, like I said, I was playing with the coloring book one and some of the other things, but uh, there's a lot more to get here. And it's just the beginning because it happened yesterday. Every time <laughs> I want y'all to, every time you're tempted to say, yeah, but it's not really that good. Add the word yet because it is changing and growing so fast every day. It's insane. So that is one of the things that you need to keep in mind is that we are adding all kinds of things all the time. So going back to chat GPT itself and open AI, you can do social media, you can email and outreach policies, analysis, job descriptions and thank yous. So it's time to give away another book and I am going to do um, I'm going to give a book to Kate because Kate was the last person to leave a comment and I think that's good and I would like to give a book to Tara because she wrote a very good question. So we just gave away two more books, but I want to tell you about a book I wrote. So with ChatGPT, you can ask it to do, one of the favorite things I, I like to ask it to do is to help me organize thoughts. Let me, give, let me give a little point about information you get with these things. I rarely use it for research and information. Now it's getting better, but it lies like a rug still. It's called hallucinating. And uh, I asked it for my bio, because it kind of knows who I am, kind of. And then it said, she's written a whole bunch of books and she got a Pulitzer. Uh, hmm. I haven't gotten the Pulitzer quite yet, but I'm sure it's coming. But I don't use it for research because of that. Now there are other ones that are a little bit better and we may have enough time to talk about that, but that's why I don't do it. I mostly use it for ideas. So this book, I gave it out at ASAE. Did anybody get one of these? They're brand new. This book is, uh, I did, no wait, this one, I did this one too, but this one I gave out at ASAE in my sessions. So it's AI ideas for associations, and then wait, I flip it, AI ideas for members, see that? So it's one way and then the other way. So one way is your associations, oh, Aaron got one. Um, one way is your uh, associations for internal work and the other way is for external work with members. So I wrote this book by asking 
chat GPT, what kind of things can associations do with it? It came up with a whole bunch of ideas and I had a whole bunch of ideas. And then I said, organize this A through Z. And it did and gave me ideas for each one. And then I manipulated it and I manipulated it. And then I ended up create, creating, I said, create a spreadsheet or a table with these headers and turn it into a table. And then I was able to export it as a spreadsheet. And then I mail merged it in Canva and I mail merged this book, y'all. I wrote it on Friday, on Sunday night, I sent it to the printer. It took me like nine months to write the big one and it took me three days to write the little one. It's amazing for ideas and rethinking your organization and so many different things. A uh, link for purchase, please. Um, I am not selling them one by one, but if you want like 10 of them, we can do that. But I, I can't sell them one by one, but um, I'm sorry, because I'm sorry, I just can't. <sighs> please don't hate me I'm, from middle school. I'm still, I want everybody to like me. It's a thing. There are so many things that you can do with this. Let me see what else I have in this. I want you to think of, of ChatGPT as your partner for the heinous tasks in your life. Oh, Peggy says, how about we buy a bundle and uh, you, and if you want one, you gotta give an address. Oh my gosh, Peggy and the sponsors just came through for us. So she's gonna buy 2000, I think. That's what you said, no. She's going to buy a bunch and uh, give them out because they are awesome. So thank you, Peggy. Now I was going to do a hands on thing, but like always, there's so much to talk about. I told you we wouldn't be able to cover it. We're not going to do the hands on, but I want you to do this. I'm going to give you a link. Hold on just a second. Uh, the link is this and actually y'all are going to go there anyway while i'm talking because you're you're going to want to see it but the link is this and i put together a getting started with ai challenge because sometimes it's just like what can it do and how can it help me and the way this works is each level start with the basics and then do that and then write an email with it and it just walks you through and gives you some ideas of how to use this write your bio write a post uh, do something else find your style all these different things that you can do to kind of get familiar with this so we were going to do a hands-on to explore that but i would rather keep talking apparently these books have all kinds of little ideas like that uh, for quality insurance quad the check of that. One of the things that I, uh, legal implications, see, somebody said, are we going to cover them? Uh, it's in the book. There you go. You can just think about covering them. But one of the things I want you to do is start helping your members with this concept. Here's the deal. And I'm totally serious about this. I was an education director for an association for many years. And I know how from the very beginning, people have said, how are we gonna stay relevant? What are we gonna do to stay relevant? And I can tell you that right now, your members are lost and people are lost. There has never been a better time for you to step up and lead the way and create opportunities and help people through the future. And if you don't do it, they will find somebody else will do it and you're going to miss that opportunity. So you need to get them there and help them create policy around this. Help them create, get started with trying it out around this. Help them figure out how their companies and how they can use this to get ahead. It is your opportunity. That's why I'm doing the birthday party for ChatGPT and giving you more ideas for training. But having the policy is key because here's what's happening. You have people who are using it in your world and in your members world, and they're like secretly using it. They're like, don't tell anybody, but I just wrote a press release with this thing, but I don't want anybody to know because they're going to tell me I'm cheating. So they feel like they're cheating. And then you have other people who are like, 
I've heard that it'll help me, but I'm afraid to try it and I don't know how to try it. So you've got those people who are waiting for you to tell them what makes sense for them to do. And then you've got people who are like, I'm very afraid of it and I don't know where to get started. You need to put everybody on the same playing field with written guidelines and guardrails. Because as soon as you say, we can use it for these things, first drafts of things, we can use it for writing back to emails. Somebody said, and this is a great use for it, those emails where you just want to say, be quiet. I'm tired of listening to you. You know those. And instead, you need to say that in a nice way. We have heard your feedback, and we really want you to know that we're taking it into consideration. We value your uh, the, the fact that you care enough to bug us. Not exactly, but Tell people what they can use it for. Tell people what they need to be aware of. Tell people how they can use it and how they can help people with it. And then give them all an even playing field so you can all move forward together. Otherwise, you've got that sense of distrust, dishonesty, cheating, uncomfortableness that people have. All right, let me see here. I'm going to pick and choose some of the things we're going to do here. Um, let's see. A heinous task is meeting notes. Things that you are taking notes in committee meetings in that you're trying to do that. You're trying to listen and it doesn't work. Otter is my favorite, favorite, favorite tool for this. Otter works like this. This has been around for several years and I actually was having trouble with Otter. Let's see if it's doing right now. All right. So I'm not in this room with Otter. Sometimes I am. Uh, I'm going to click record and I will do it on that one. And what it does is in real time gets every single word I am saying. So it's recording it and it's transcribing it at the same time. Fantastic. This used to be its superpower. That's it. The Stress Management Society tells us that we can handle about seven pieces of information in one sitting at a time. And if we're stressed out, it goes down to three. We have been stressed out since 2020 as a whole. So it's hard for you to listen. It's hard for you to get all of the parts and pieces. So this tool will take notes so you can actually be a part of the meeting and you don't have to do this. But beyond this, so I'm gonna stop this here. Beyond this, this tool will let you Let me open up this one real quick. This tool will let you take notes and then it makes an outline. Now I had trouble with this coming up because hashtag technology, but I do a lot of interviews. I do a lot of podcasts and things. And this was one with a company, a group called Up Level, and they asked me a series of questions. It will break it apart. See, it's not coming up weird. It will break it apart into different sections that are logical, and then it'll allow me to chat with the transcript. So you have an hour long committee meeting or a seven hour long committee meeting or something like that, and you need to know one piece, then you can just come in here and ask it that question. Again, it's, it's, it's not working well. Anybody willing to pretend that it is? How do you know, how does it know who's talking? Different vo sounding voices. And you can identify the voices by that. It also, if you look here, it'll show the percentage. See, uh, I'll exit page. Uh, it'll show you the percentage that people are talking. So that gives more of your committee, more of your people, the ability to share that information rather than uh, just one person talking. It's fantastic. Now, how many of you have Zoom, the paid version of Zoom? Ding, 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 ding. If you do, you can enable the AI capabilities on Zoom and it'll do kind of the same thing. So many things that are built into these tools. Look for that little sparkle and you're going to see that there are a lot of things that are popping up. And they'll pop up randomly and they're not even going to tell you about them. It'll just be there. Does MS Teams have this? Why? Yes, it does. With Microsoft Copilot, 
it is now attending meetings and doing the same thing. But Otter will attend all my meetings for me and do the same thing without some of them without me even going. It just shows up at them if it's on my calendar. It's crazy. Copilot is amazing. That is what's coming. Uh, Beth, quick, quick question. The there was a question in chat about um, is Jeff DeCanya on here. I thought I saw something. So uh, I thought I saw one of his notes. Jeff DeCanya is, uh, I don't see him on here, but he is somebody who uh, speaks a lot for boards and things like that. He said, Zoom is using your info and Zoom got attacked for using the info. But guess what? As soon as they got attacked, they were like, oh, we didn't know anybody would be mad because they were using the AI stuff to redo the, um, to put back to train their information, right? They kept kind of recycling it into there. Well, they backed off of that. You can opt out of that. So it is private and it is encrypted and it is just yours. We are down to three minutes. Can y'all believe how fast this has gone? If you send a link to a colleague that does not have chat GPT, will they be able to open it? I don't know. Could y'all open that other one? I clicked, uh, I gave that one, uh, and I don't know if you don't have chat GPT, maybe you can tell us if you can see it. You can also change it to a, you can also download it as a PDF. She she says we can go a few minutes over. Don't give me any more time, y'all. I will talk all day. I love this stuff. Do uh, here are the questions, and I, I want to get them. Do you see a difference in generations getting on board with this new tool? Uh, Sixty minutes over. Boom, <laughs> Kate. You already want a book, right? Otherwise, Kate, choose somebody you like, and we'll give them a book for you. Do I see a difference in generations getting on board? Kind of. Gen Z, yes, seems to be uh, adopting a little bit more quickly, but a lot of people who are older millennials and Gen X are like, hmm, a lot of boomers are like, why in the world is this coming out five years before I retire? This is not fair. So a lot of people are, a lot of people are embracing it. So it will work if you're not logged into ChatGPT, excellent. All right, um, y'all, there's, there's just too much for me to cover, but I am going to show you this. So the new, new, new stuff was that Turbo Chat GPT, Canva. Oh my gosh, y'all, Canva just released, I'm going to come over here and open it, just released a whole bunch of these tools, and you know how you can find them? dun 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 that little twinkle twinkle that little star canva you're like um uh instagram post about um thanksgiving uh feast all right now instead of just you coming up with thousands of templates it is building in the magic design it is building these on the fly with my specifications and then I can add my branding colors to it. Right now it's in beta. All these were built just for me. I didn't have to go and search through 75,000 templates. It's just built for me. They have photo editing tools, image editing tools. Did you know in Canva, you can take out the background of a video and make little like just, if you've got a board member dancing, you can just have the board member dancing and not that your board would dance and Put it up rather than having to have the background as well it's crazy so much in canva if you are not paying for the canva bigger package it's like 14 dollars a month it is the best money i spend hands down you can say do a powerpoint presentation on reasons that people should be members and it'll just do it so that is coming dropbox just added some stuff and uh, that's a whole other question. I, I'm just now trying it out. But uh, yesterday or the day before, maybe a couple days ago, anyway, it was this week, Elon Musk released something called Grok, 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 J-R-O-K. I don't know how to pronounce it. And it's gonna be a chat GPT with an attitude. You can say, make this more vulgar. 
It's horrifying. But uh, they said, oh, my dear human, I've got some juicy news for you. That is the standard conversation mode for this. So many more things we could talk about. It is now the top of the hour. I hope that you've gotten some things. Have you gotten some things from this in this very fast hour? Put it in the chat. And I want to thank again our hosts for asking us to do this and getting us together for this. I hope you come to the December 6th birthday party. I think it's the 6th. So write me and I'll figure it out. And uh, I have a big finish now. Can I do my big finish? That's can I ask one? Like, Beth, can I ask a question? Yes. Okay, good. There's just one question that popped up in chat, but trying to make sure we caught some of the questions. And this one says, is they, has Canva addressed the issues related to IP and diversity in images? Nope. Um, you have to tell it to okay. be diverse. Okay. You really do. I did an experiment. Uh, I, I would love it if y'all all followed me on LinkedIn because I'm doing a lot of AI experiments on there. I did an experiment and I just put in one word for all these image generation things like mm -hmm. doctor and CEO and fast food worker. And there were definitely stereotypes, but you have to remember you have to think about how this was built. It was built on a database of everything that has been said and done, like the internet, it sucked it up. What have we been doing for years? Sucking at diversity. So we are very uncomfortable with the 2023 results of the uh, 20, you know, 2020 and back mm -hmm. conversations. Yep. right so we're working to we're actively doing better with diversity right now but they are struggling with that and it's because of our history mm -hmm. so i've seen them get better in some areas but not really what other things oh let me put up the link for i think uh, uh, signing anybody up for... who's on i think i caught most of the questions i either heard um you actually answer them or i reposted or i'm asking the other one so i think we've got most of them but an open um an open uh offer to everybody here is we if you put the questions in the follow-up survey that don't get answered um we'll get them to beth and we'll integrate them in a in a, in a blog follow-up so feel free um to to, if your question didn't get answered, to go ahead and do it that way. Also um, in the chat, uh, two of us put together the handouts and then uh, I'm sure Bill Highway and uh, Peggy and, and Pexium will send you some as well. But if you want to get on the newsletter and get the handouts, because I put extra stuff in there, use this link. All right. Did we get all the questions answered? Yes. So you can do your big finish. All right. Big finish. Our nerdy time is through, but Beth Z is always here for you. Your nerdy best friend dot com. Very much. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you all na later. Until then, nerd on. Nerd on indeed. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, everybody in the community for joining us today. Lots of good things are coming. Don't forget, if you want to get, I'm going to buy a bulk of books there. If you want to get it, we'll we'll take there. We got a couple of extra books to give away. We're going to randomly pick you up from chat. So if you had your name in chat, you might be the winner of the big book. But if you give us an address either now or follow up with me at P. Hoffman Mariner Management, I'll give you some of my stock. Beth, I'll be in touch with you to get that stock. And we're going to have to pull you back again next time. Make sure you all, we will see you in January. We're picking up with our first one coming out of the new year is going to be helping chapters with non-dues revenue. So you want to get that on your calendar at the end of January. Have a great and wonderful day. Thank you from Bill Highway. Thank you from Impexium. Thank you from Mariner Management. And thank you, Beth. Bye, y'all. <laughs>